Hola, soy Julian Gamboa, and this is Social Confidential, where Adweek social media editors take a look behind the logo to find out who's tweeting and sharing for major brands. And I'm here with both Michaela Cron and Zaria Parvis, the people bringing our favorite multilingual green owl to life. Let's first talk about the owl in the room. What are some ways that you've contributed to Duo's personality and voice through social? Duo, as we all know, is certainly a character to say the very least. When it comes to our personality and, and voice on social, we always want to make sure that we are expressing a point of view that's really unique to Duolingo. We really don't like to take ourselves too seriously. We know that our learners have assigned a personality to Duo, our owl mascot, that has taken off in all sorts of ways. And we really often like to lean in and take a more playful approach and sometimes an even sad approach and the voice that we convey on social to really kind of tap into that personality that people have come to know for Duo. Ultimately, we really want to make sure that we're being authentic and human at the end of the day in how we're engaging on social. Duolingo has a distinguishable format for asking users to translate sentences, but you've leaned into this to jump on various internet trends. So how did this idea come to be and how has it been received by users online? When people see a tweet or they see a post, we want them to automatically be like, oh, that's so Duolingo. So like really when it comes down to it, the lesson screen itself is a really awesome, ownable feature of ours that we can easily change to fit current trends. We all knew that Shrimpgate kind of just happened on a, a random weekday. We were all kind of tapped into what was going on. How can we engage with this in a way that's to do a lingo and still have an opinion on it? A designer helped us mock up actually this copy and created this design with the hand and the shrimp on the lesson screen. A staple of Duolingo are its notifications. Fans have had fun with how passive aggressive they seem. What's the thought process behind those notifications? Our team knows that daily practice is really key when it comes to learning a new language. We've started to see memes that really play into the cadence of the notifications that we send. Just as we've embraced Duo's personality, we've kind of been embracing this whole notification and practice reminder theme for us. Us, it is about embracing the memes. We know that that's kind of what our audience, what our learners are, are sharing and talking about when it comes to our brand. In 2019, we put out an April Fool's campaign that had us basically launch in-person push notifications from Duo himself, kind of just you know put it out there and took that insight of, of the memes that were already going or, like around the internet, but also made it our own. Not now, Duo. We recently put out a meme that showed crying duo, which is very popular. People really tend to resonate with sad duo, as we call him. Lastly, what's a quick piece of advice for other social media managers? Don't jump on a trend quickly just to be relevant. We found that it was far more worthwhile just to do some research. And when you do that research and you really look around and see how you can engage authentically, it really elevates your work and what you're doing to a level that no other brand can. And I think something else that's really important to us in our social strategy is truly when it comes to like work related to diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging, there's really a fine line between having good intentions or being alienating and missing the mark. So we really strive to go through multiple eyes before we publish something, especially that doesn't speak to the same life experiences that we have. The ultimate goal is for representation, for people to see your post and feel represented. It's really key to just keep working with people who are of, of these communities and make sure that there's representation at like every level of what you're doing before you publish content. Okay, Lady Saria, muchas gracias por estar con nosotros hoy. Chao. Zai Jian. Y gracias a ti por ver. Soy Julian Gamboa. Nos vemos el siguiente vez en Adweek Social Confidential.